Okay, now will be the proof. Let's see. 13 agility. Come on. And let's see if I can activate it or not. I believe not. Let's see. I cannot because I still need 25 points. <laughs> I still had that little enthusiasm from from seeing it active, but you still need those 25 skill points. So we are on a good level with agility. Now we just need to get those skill points to lock this up forever. So it might be a good idea. Doesn't matter how low they are. It might be a good idea to still get the skill points from Silver and Roy. What I am concerned about is that I'm not going to get stamina up to 6. I would really love to have that up to 6. So because money is currently not a problem, I think I'm going to get to the gym. Even though I can only use half of my time. Let's eat another steak. Hell yeah. I know I'm pushing it farther. I know. But again, money is currently not the problem. And $10 is not much. So let's do this. And let's push that stamina up to 6. Awesome day. Let's stop. And let's go to the fight. Ultimate fights. Here we go. Alright. I have fought these guys before. Uh-huh. How did I win against them? Let's see. They will block. Power block. And we must not let them block. Because his strength is gonna go up. Um, let's see. Energy is gonna be saved on his part. So I am gonna need skipping attacks. Let's go with that. I think this was actually the fight that I u didn't use the skip attacks first. And that kind of put myself at risk. So yeah. Let's go with that. From the moment I have another skill slot. These are gonna be my base stats i think my base abilities and then i'll use an extra one whenever i find it fit they have the same health in me at least this one does this guy the reason why i use the skip attacks is because he has this which basically means he will have more energy than usual so we don't want to go down more than him Okay, things are going well. 52 damage, buddy! What do you think about that? Okay, let's finish up the combat. So, let's take away skip attacks. And put in, because he is also blocking. Let's put in this. Even though it doesn't hit as much. But it's still good. It's still pretty good. I don't see the debuff on the guy, though. Normally, when you are debuffed, you have a box that shows up over here. When it's the other way around and it's the guy that is debuffed, or at least when he's supposed to be debuffed, I don't see the debuff box on him. Okay, so this guy doesn't block, so let's take this away. He dodges instead. So... To play at Scythe... He uses agility, he doesn't use stamina much. So let's go with the... Whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. Let's go with this and this. Let's go with skip attacks. Yeah. I don't have anything to specifically counter dodgers. That should be something that I might be concerned about. I might want to get a, a skill point, a skill ability, specifically for dodging guys. But as you can see, I don't have many problems against them. This guy is going down like nothing, look at that. I don't need to do much to, to keep this guy on a leash. Do they have the same name? Because they changed the fighters, but the name is still the same. <laughs> Alright, buddy. You're going down. Alright, seven more skill points. A lot of money. I am so happy right now. Things have never been going so well. What I'm gonna do is get over here by Buzz once again. And let's try to win against the Crocodile. Let's see how that goes. So, ask about the special pizza. And we're gonna get... Oh, wait, what, what what the heck? Ask about the special pizza. We have so many orders! Let's talk later! What's happening? Do I need to work for him in order to have that? Let's see, let's work just one shift. And hopefully that will be enough. But my stats went all the way down! God damn it! Ah! The crocodile fight is not gonna happen after the fight. It's gonna happen before the fight. Because I have a new one coming out next. Holy schnizzle.
That is deceptive. Okay, let's work out a little bit more. I want my stats all the way up. Strength up to 3 and agility up to 13 to go to the crocodiles fight. And hopefully, the special delivery will be ready for me. Alright. Punchy bag now. Come on. Give me that agility, boy. And supposedly, the crocodile fight will give me a lot of good rewards. Or so I have been told. Okay, this is the moment, boys. Let's see. Please, KZ. Please, give it to me. Alright. Cool. My treat! Yep, it should be tasty. Here it is! Take one! By the way, I have a special order which needs to be delivered. Well, that's the one, right? So you need to work for him a little bit before getting to this. Alright, so, he blocks, if active, any strike blocked by you temporarily reduces enemy agility. This is really bad. So we need to bring his effectiveness down. I don't know, I can't remember how does your energy behave against this guy though. So that's why I'm scared of taking the skip attacks away. Because what I could really use against this guy is the blocking ability, which is this one. Or, why not, the roundhouse kick. The thing is, skip attacks is saving some energy. This is not only making his block chance lower, but it also spins energy, which is something that this doesn't do, because this is not an active skill. I just had that pling in my in my brain. So I shouldn't really use the kick, because it will spend further energy. So let's not risk it all in. Let's do this. I will not use the roundhouse kick. And at the same time, I will not have the skipping attacks, but is blocking will be less effective. Let's see how we do in this point. Okay, we're gonna need skip attacks. God damn it. But his energy is also going down by a lot, so that's amazing. Yes, you went down first! Awesome. When you two are on the edge of going down, it's always good. It's always amazing if he goes down first. Because he goes down, you don't, and you recover energy in the process. Okay, skipping at attacks now, so that we don't go down any further. But his blocking will be more effective. Well, even with skip attacks, we're still on the same level of energy. But we're gonna win! We're gonna win! Donatello! Donatello Crocodile! You are not a match for me anymore. Well, energy is really what I should have focused all along. It's so damn good. Let's see what we get from this. I am expecting great rewards. Come on, give me something good. Eight skill points. Not bad. I've seen worse. So, we can always use that. I wasn't prepared this time. You win! <laughs> Beat Mark. That was... That was a pig. That was not a crocodile. Wow, his staff was really dangerous. But you've won. I could get used to that. Come back, clear, and fight mightiest brother, Gabe. Beat Gabe. Alright, Gabe is supposedly the last one, right? Okay. Where are we? We have 17 skill points. With 5 more, we will have 22. But that is still not enough to finally get this. I need three more. So basically, I'm gonna skip Roy and Silver, and I'm gonna fight one more Ultimate League, and that will give me finally that skill point. That skill ability. So let's focus on increasing our stats. We need some rest, we need some food, and we have that at home. Let's use the buzz. Boom, done. Let's stop. Let's not risk it. If you risk this much, you need to be careful. <laughs> you really need to be careful. Because if one day skips, not only you lose the time that you need to fight, that you want to fight, but also you lose those stats. Okay, 10 agility on this guy. And this guy dodges. Wait, what the heck? He has two dodges? 
Okay, we need to have skip attacks. The more we try to punch, or let's say if we have a skill that doesn't hit much, we are going to run out of energy eventually. And the guy dodges a lot. So let's see, wind flow dodge, skip attacks, and unstoppable. Yeah, I think that's what we should have against this guy. We have more of everything, so we should be able to win this. The question is, are we gonna win against the second guy? They seem to be the little and the big brother. We are not hitting much, come on, what the heck? There we go, that's much better. I am not blocking, boy, so I don't know why are you using the blocking thingy over there. Wow, this match, is it, is it gonna be me or this match? is long, very long. Unless he starts going down on energy right now. Which means he will go down as well. Yes, two types of dodges. Do they stack? I have no idea why he has two dodges. All right, awesome. He went down once. He's gonna go down twice. Have you noticed how my health is so high even though my strength is currently so low? I think agility at some point, because it is your main stat, affects other things other than what it's supposed to affect. Okay, now this guy blocks. This guy is different from the other one. He blocks a lot. So I'm gonna take away the skip attacks and I'm gonna put in... Let's go with a roundhouse kick. Let's risk it a little bit and let's go with a roundhouse kick. Let's see how we do with this. Something tells me I should have skip it. Wow, that was a good attack. I should- Oh my lord! Oh my god, this guy is doing so much damage with just one hit. We need to up our game. Oh my god, come on. Okay, if we go down, we lose this fight. We lost it. We lost it. This guy is too strong. God! Damn it! I didn't predict a loss over here. God damn it. We might have lost this. There's nothing else I can do right now to avoid it. He has so much more health than us. Unless we start dodging as hell, we, we lost. Because he does just so much damage with one simple attack. Unless he goes down, you know. Unless he goes down. Like that. Oh, come on. Come on, Sparrow Dam! You never disappoint me! <sighs> this game sometimes gets to me. All right! Nice! We won that, even though we were on the downside on the second part of the fight. We have almost enough points for this as well. We're missing one point. Are you kidding me? I envisioned that we would have enough. Apparently, we didn't. The thing is, I don't have the rec agility do I I might need to go to the gym immediately just to get that skill awesome we still have 13 agility that is awesome finally I'm gonna stop freaking boosting up agility or at the very least I will stop just caring so much about it so nice we got this 13 agility is currently my minimum so I will not have to care so much about it anymore now nextly Hold up, so I can have this without this? That is something I didn't know. But they give precisely the same. So getting one or the other, it's pretty much the same thing. I think that's the next thing I'm gonna get, is either this or this one. Or maybe even this one. I don't know, is this a perk? If it is, it's really worth it. You deal the opponent's damage back to him at the beginning of the attack phase. That's pretty good. Right? Cobra Strike. You hit your opponent with a venomous strike that drains his health until the end of the combat. But dude, this has a hidden chance of 68. That is pretty poor. If you go below 30% of your health, your agility is increased by 30%. Okay, we need to get this immediately. I think the next thing I'm gonna get, and you know, this is just my thought right now, is getting Ninjutsu Fan. And then this. The reason why I'm not getting this or the previous level is that I just got this. So I will not train agility much right now because I got to my 
current objective for agility and I don't think we need more than 13 agility to be quite honest right now we are winning fights just good and I don't think we need any more than that I guess my stopping point will be the next ultimate fight to see if it is gonna you know require more than 13 agility and the next crocodile fight which should be the toughest one I am very very close to the red level in ultimate fights so I guess that's what I'm gonna do nextly and uh, then go to the crocodile and try the playoffs again I think to be quite honest with you we can already win the playoffs with what we have especially with what we have right now because we are on a higher level than we were before and we almost won at that point but something tells me that the playoffs will take me to a point in the story where they might prevent me from winning for instance the ultimate fight and unlock a little part of the story so I don't want to do that I don't want to miss on anything the next expansion or the first expansion for punch club is coming next week very very soon so I'll focus more and more and I will work hard to get punch club the main story done so that we can try that next expansion on the very first day I'm able to do it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your support once again like on this video if you have liked it dislike it if you didn't like it and tell me what's wrong with it comment right now on the comment section if you have any suggestions I've been reading very detailedly your suggestions so that I can apply them on the game and be a little bit better than what I am right now which is awful bad I'll see you on the next one subscribe as well if it is your first time over here and if you want to enjoy more bye bye I love making videos and very fortunately I can no longer do it without your help. If you would be so kind as to click on the link currently on the screen and contribute with just even $1 on Patreon, that would already make a difference. Thank you.